We said we might, and then we did. We saw Cruella. Yeah, so we streamed last Thursday? It was Wednesday or th- Yeah, it was. And then we were like, oh, we should go see it because we both had the day off on Friday. Or you didn't work until later, and I had the day yeah. off. After we finished streaming, I was like, do you really want to go see it? We can buy tickets right now. Yeah. So for the first time since, what was it, October of 2019, yeah. we went and we saw a movie in the theaters. It was crazy. It, I mean, yeah, it, it, was, it was pretty wild going back. It was bizarre it was bizarre being back there were like maybe five other like pairs of people right in the whole theater because we went on a friday we went like, to a matinee show yeah it was like noon but just like the, like the smell sitting in the seats the big screen like all yeah. of it uh the social anxiety it was all there um <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but me. like it was it was it was just bizarre to be back in a place like that yeah. after everything and yeah doing it safely like feeling okay about it yeah i didn't realize how much i missed it like i i miss smelling the popcorn and i missed seeing like i don't know i just missed the trailer yeah hearing other people's reactions yeah yeah because i mean we watch movies enough at home and of course i'm fucking busting a gut laughing here yeah if you if you're ever in a movie theater with john you will know because he laughs so loudly it's it's a laugh that uh theater performers appreciate because they can hear it um but he's laughing that loudly at a screen (laughs) and then everyone else around him has to just kind of be like well it's not like i'm fucking laughing at like dying okay no that'd be that'd be a separate issue yeah (laughs) but there were times in cruella because there were again like 10 people total you would just be laughing away on your own no one else is laughing i paid the same amount for a fucking ticket that they did i can have just as good a time don't call me a fucking karen because i want to enjoy myself (laughs) at a movie i paid to see but anyway getting into the actual movie (laughs) um you know what it was a hell of a good time yeah i i did not have high hopes for it Mm. I am not a huge fan of this Disney true rend of making live action remakes of their stuff. Yeah. With these kind of like villain ones, at least we're getting a different story. We're getting like a different side or the beginning of something. So there's that. But I still didn't have like high hopes that it was going to be good. But it was super, super entertaining. Yeah. And the Emmas were both fantastic in it. I mean, everyone could assume that Emma Stone and Emma Thompson are going to be amazing because they're always amazing in everything that they do yeah but yeah it was i was pleasantly surprised by how much i enjoyed it i will say i think it went on a little too long it was a little long but like the stuff that stands out besides the emma's performances were the costumes Mm -hmm. and the soundtrack yes and the hair makeup i lumped that in with costumes but i didn't say it out loud i said it in here hair makeup and costumes and then the soundtrack yeah those are my favorite parts to kind of bounce off of what you said i don't have a strong connection to 101 dalmatians like as a friend franchise like the animated i remember enjoying the live action ones when i was a kid um because you know puppies are cute and puppies are very cute you know even then can recognize glenn close's genius Mm -hmm. but i didn't really have a strong connection to it so when this movie was announced i was like okay like i don't get it but whatever but then the more and more i saw of it i was like looks cool and I really, really love the aesthetic of the movie. Yeah. Um, everything kind of feels kind of cold until it's like punk rock. Mm-hmm. And then this movie just kind of blooms in this weird, weird, fantastic way. It was a little long. I feel like there was a couple of points where we probably could have wrapped it up. Or reined it in. Yeah. But that said, it didn't quell my enjoyment of it at all like yeah. i had a hell of a good time watching it the costumes and the hair and makeup was just it was phenomenal oh my god yeah it was fantastic. I, that was just it was everything was just gorgeous to look at in the movie yeah. um so even if you're not like a huge cruella fan cruella Cr- you know we're not doing this again cruella even if you're not a big cruella fan if you appreciate fashion hair or makeup maybe specifically for film you should just go see it anyway just yeah. to look at it it's crazy it's got this like this isn't a spoiler Mm. But it it takes place in the 60s and 70s, yeah. I believe. The book that it's based on was written in the 50s, so kind of makes sense. But it's got this, like, mod punk 
grunge. Yeah. But then also that's more of like Cruella. And then there's this other side of it that's like elegant, glamorous. Yeah. But still like that dated but timeless. Like it, it was just it, yeah. it was incredible. Like it, it very much felt like you could feel the stuffiness of like the bourgeoisie mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden Cruella just comes in and just is like shaking up the game yeah. and it's just it's it's really really fun. Um, And if you are vaccinated and you go see it in the theaters it is cheaper than seeing it. We got two matinee tickets for eight dollars each we paid less than 20 bucks to go yeah. see we go probably see paid around half of what it would cost to see it on disney plus yeah and access. because we were fully vaccinated i mean we were still distant from everyone else oh yeah but we popped off our masks yeah that was the weirdest part yeah and just enjoyed a movie yeah. like like in the olden days yeah but yeah I, I i thoroughly enjoyed cruella uh i would definitely recommend go checking it out that said some news came out today that uh i guess enough people saw it and enough people enjoyed it disney just announced that they are doing a cruella sequel i'm a little surprised by that one i'm also a little surprised but my my gut reaction when i first saw that was like you know if they had the right story and the same cast i would see it again i would go see it yeah i agree i don't know if i would see it if emma stone wasn't in it i mean i i would be a little sad because i'm assuming don't be giving out spoilers but i want to okay i won't i won't <laughs> i would be surprised if several of the cast came back i should say that but if they could make it work yeah then i'd be for it i just don't know what they would do like would they go straight into the 101 dalmatians and do like a remake slash reboot of that i don't know that's the thing i don't i don't know the story enough to try to like guess on my own what's gonna happen but the way that it left off and no spoilers i don't know they would have to get creative with the time and the characters and who all would be included so it's not just a live action 101 dalmatians yeah you know what i mean now what i will say because this movie took place in what the 60s 70s 60s i I think when it started it was the 60s but she was a kid so i think it was the 70s i would love to see cruella in the 80s yeah well i guess that's well isn't that kind of the vibe that Glenn Close had? I mean, wasn't that more than 90s, but still. I think that first one came out in 2000, no? I don't know. I never saw it. Let's uh, let's, let's do a Google. little... But yeah, like 80s, like more is more mentality. Yeah, like I oh, would love to be, see her... thrive. Oh, so the first one... So 101 Dalmatians came out in 96. Hey, see, um, I was one years old. One year. One old. years old. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'd like to see like the 80s fashion yeah. and how Cruella responds to that because there's a buck is, wild shit. There's buck wild shit and like no offense if you love 80s fashion but it is very hard to make a lot of 80s fashion look glamorous yeah and like chic (laughs) and high fashion because it all not all some of it was great a lot of it was very very bad and ugly the way this movie throughout the entirety of it they focus a lot on the the fashion world of things Mm -hmm. i think if they stayed within the fashion realm of cruella yeah i think there's a lot of fun to be had um and i think that would kind of give them a way out of doing the dalmatian story Mm -hmm. because there was enough nods to it in the movie so like we know but yeah i think put her in a in a time period where there's a lot of crazy fashion Mm -hmm. and kind of stay in that fashion designer devil wears prada-esque yeah. styling i think there's a lot of fun we could have in the in the cruella verse the fucking cruella verse <laughs> I'm always down for anything The Devil Wears Prada-esque because I can only watch the first half of The Devil Wears Prada anymore because everyone becomes insufferable after the first half. Yeah. And just goes downhill. Anyway, what you're saying, yeah, you've never seen it. We have you on record saying that you have never seen it. So I don't want you agreeing with shit. Anyway, um, I'm going to agree uh, with what you said a few minutes ago. As much as I love Disney and most things they put out, the live action stuff is just, most of it feels like a money grab. Yeah. This this one even if it is that i feel like it's an old enough of a property i don't think people actively think about 101 dalmatians i certainly don't i certainly didn't <laughs> and because they did something so different from what the source material was mm-hmm. i was kind of into it and i think if they did more of that i wouldn't mind it so much i haven't seen most of the live action stuff i liked what they did with jungle book i liked what they did with cinderella that was surprisingly good yeah like it was be- way better than i thought it was gonna be yeah i'm trying to think of if i've seen any of the other other live action remakes uh i haven't seen beauty I, and the beast i didn't see beauty and the beast i didn't see lion king i didn't see maleficent i didn't see dumbo i heard not oh, very yeah. good things about dumbo uh but so like so They're a lot of them hit or miss yeah so but this one i think was definitely definitely a, a, a hit and i think is a, a step in the right direction um yeah. there's some other stuff that they have in the works that i'm like oh, i don't know how that's gonna work but hey i'm always willing to be proven wrong mm-hmm. um 
But yeah, so I think that's a two paws up, two thumbs up for Cruella. Paws. Oh. Two spots. Paws up. Isn't that what uh, Lady Gaga says? Claws, not paws.